Dear Diary, it is Tuesday, I think. It's difficult to tell since my days seem to run together on this damned island. It has been months since our ship, the Librarian, ran afoul of pirates. The majority of the crew was either cut down by rusted blades or shot with ball and flintlocks. The sea dog spared my life, setting me adrift on a small boat with rations and a large wooden spoon with which to paddle. Having paddled as straight as I could for a week, you can imagine I was overjoyed at the sight of land. For on dry land, I could at least hunt, forage for food, and stave off what I came to call sea madness from drinking a week's worth of my own urine. In my early days on the island, I had no trouble dealing with my isolation, but eventually loneliness got the better of me, and I fashioned a companion out of a coconut. I call my coconut Maria, named for a coquettish haberdasher I knew in my youth. She is coarse both in physicality and in manners, but beggars can't be choosers. If I am to ever leave this sandy prison and have the good fortune to return to civilization, I should do with a hot bath and more feminine company. But please, dear diary, do not tell Maria. She may be a provincial, but she is easily given to jealousy and rage. What's that book you're writing in? Nothing, darling. Don't you go nothing, darling me. Hurry up. Supper's getting cold. What are we having? Stewed leeks and clams. We had that last night. Well, I don't see you busting your ass cooking for the two of us. Yes, dear. Maria is a tender and considerate lover. We've passed the time on the island in relative bliss. It is her coarse behavior, however, that can be at times irksome. I'm waiting. Oh, for Pete's sake. Can't a man have a moment's peace? Despite being from different backgrounds and species, and also the fact that she's entirely concocted from my imagination, Maria and I have become quite close in my months on this island, managing to find peace away from the modern world. I should think that before I inevitably die of dehydration and my bones are picked clean by coconut crabs, my last thoughts will be of her. Her hard and bristly face has given me comfort. I don't know what I would do if I could never again stare into those dead button eyes of hers. You there! We're here to rescue you! Oh, thank God! Are you alone? Is there anyone with you on this island? It was a difficult journey, children, fraught with hardship and woe. But that's how I met your mother. <laughs>